this demo, the optimization tool in CAD Figure will be demonstrated. We will optimize the gain of a bent dipole in front of a plate. We start with the geometry already defined, which consists of a plate and secondly a half wavelength dipole, some distance away from the plate and bent around its center. The dipole is defined in terms of two parameters. Firstly, distance and secondly, the angle in radians. The distance and angle of the dipole can be varied as shown. These two parameters will be modified by the optimizer to obtain the best gain for the dipole. The model further consists of a wire port and voltage source at the center of the dipole, as displayed by the port annotations. The frequency corresponding to a wavelength of 1 meter has been set. We want to optimize the gain in the horizontal plane at the center frequency. In order to obtain gain, we need to calculate the far fields. Click on Horizontal Cut and Create. Next, we set up the optimization. On the Request tab, click on Add Search. There are a few optimization methods to choose from, but here we choose Automatic. We see the search with label Search1 has been added to the tree. Right-click on Goals and select Far Field Goal. In the Goal Focus group of options, we firstly choose the label of the Far Field request. We only specified one pattern cut, so we choose Far Field 1. In the Focus type, we choose Gain, and the polarization will be Total. In the Focus Processing Steps box, we specify what FICO must do with the Focus type or the gain in this case. As stated, we want to maximize the gain, so we choose maximum in the drop-down box. For the goal operator, we choose maximize, but as seen, there are also options to optimize the gain for a specific value. The weight box is only applicable for cases where there are more than one goal specified. Next, we double-click on Parameters to define the parameters that will be changed during optimization. The first variable will be Angle, and we enter the Minimum, Maximum and Start value, as shown. To specify a second variable, click on Add, and select Distance in the drop-down box. If not specified, Figure will choose a Start value in between the Minimum and Maximum values. Now save the model and under the Solve Run tab, select Opt FICO. Note we did not mesh the model as the optimizer does this automatically. If no meshing parameters are chosen, a standard mesh is created. The optimized model will be available in the same folder as the original model. When FICO has finished, the resultant optimum values for angle and distance are shown, as well as their sensitivities. To view the results of the optimization, run post FICO. To view the optimized results, first add a Cartesian graph. Now click on Optimization. The optimization progress that was followed for the angle variable is shown in the graph. We can also view the distance and global goal progress. It is also possible to view the optimization graphically in real time. We choose to view the geometry and far fields and rerun the optimizer for demonstration purposes. The results are loaded automatically after each run of the optimizer. Just to note again that after the optimization has finished, the model files containing the optimum solution will be available in the same folder as the original model.
This concludes the demonstration. For help in setting up your own models, feel free to contact us.